Hey everyone, so today I thought I would show you how to make these really cool shark tooth necklaces. I went to Morro Bay this weekend with my mom and picked up these shark teeth and thought it would be really cool to show you how to make your own. Um, it's really simple. So you're going to need a shark tooth. Like I said, I got mine in Morro Bay. It was two for $4.50 or something like that. You're going to need some wire. I got this 26 gauge wire because it felt really thin and it's going to be really easy to work with. Then you're going to need um, a necklace. I used black cord necklace. This came in a pack of three and it was like $3 for um, all three of them. So it was a really good deal and they're already made. You don't have to worry about making them yourself. You're going to need jump rings. This is way too many but um, it's good for future projects. And then you're also going to need needle nose pliers. If you don't have needle nose pliers, normal pliers should work. Or if you don't have nails, your fingers might be able to open the um, jump ring. So you're going to start out by taking your wire and you're just going to make a loop and this is going to be the loop that the jump ring is going to go on. So just make a little loop um, and then the little tail of wire that's left, just spin it around so your loop is secure. And then if your um, little loop looks like it's too big, just twist it and make it a little smaller and it'll be perfect. Then from there, you're going to take your loop you just made and place it behind the shark tooth. This way you don't see any of that wire and it's placed perfectly. Um, and then you're going to, this is, was kind of hard for me to show, um, but you're going to take the wire and wrap it around one side of the shark tooth. Then you're going to take it and cross it over the back or over the top of that loop to secure it in place. And you're going to go underneath the other side of the shark tooth. And then you're just going to repeat that process. So now you're going to take that wire and go back up to the top corner on the other side. And then you're going to go back down and bring that. See, it's the crossing. This is so hard to explain, but you're going to bring it back down. Bring it over the top, cross it over to the other side like you did the first time, wrap it around, and this is just going to make sure it's secure and stays in place. I did this three times on each side just to make sure that it stayed where it was supposed to and it wasn't going to fall off. And then since I thought that, that was good enough, you can do it more if you want to. I stopped there. I'm going to cut my wire because it's obviously way too long, and I'm going to cut it um, just a little excess so I'm able to wrap. Um, the wire around that loop so it'll stay in place and that all the wire won't just come unraveled so again if you don't have acrylic nails like I do this will be a lot easier um, also the shark tooth is curved in a kind of unusual way so it was harder to get that um, wire around but I just wrapped it around twice and then tucked the excess wire down behind the back of the tooth and you can't even tell that it's there and it's nice and secure Next, you're going to take a jump ring, and this is where the two needle nose pliers come in handy, especially if you don't, if you have acrylic nails like me or um, can't open a jump ring on your own. Um, the two needle nose pliers are small enough to grip both sides to pull it open. So that's just what I'm doing here. I'm pulling it um, far enough open that I can push it onto the loop as um, of the shark tooth as well as the cord necklace so just slip it onto the loop of the shark tooth that we just created and then you're just going to take the cord necklace and just hook it right on and you don't have to worry about it being placed centered perfectly or anything like that because it will be able to move around a little bit then I'm going to take the other pair of needle nose pliers that I have and just close that loop off and you are all done it was so easy to make this um, I made two and I think they're really cool and this is something that you could find on Etsy for like $20 and it probably cost me like five so I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY I had a lot of fun making it thank you mom for helping me film this um, and let me know in the comments below what you guys would like to see next Hopefully I'll have a dorm tour up really soon. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.